Hey guys, it's Night Flame, and today, guys, I will be giving you a special, uh, basically breaking news slash topic video on the brand new, um, all new, all different Avengers, and also the Uncanny Inhumans. So I will give you a um, basically a thoughts video on this topic, and uh, before that, I will have some um, individual comic book reviews today. I bought some comics early Wednesday. Um, I will review some. One was from last month. One was from last week. So I will still review them because, you know, I haven't done reviews. I was a little sick. I also was planning on doing this video yesterday. Uh, but my boys just couldn't, you know, handle it. So I have this in store. And also Friday I have a big news for you guys. I will be dropping a schedule on a video. And I will be, you know, sharing news and stuff. So yeah, uh, Friday it's the big news video. But Today, uh, topic video. So we'll start off with uh, all new, all different Avengers. Um, yeah. So yesterday or two days ago, I think it was two days ago, um, they decided that they were going to basically, uh, Marvel, uh, they decided that they were basically going to release the image of this whole all new, all different Avengers uh, title for free comic book day. At first, this was advertised as being a reprint of Avengers number one. Um, and I thought it was going to be a reprint, but it turns out, no, Marvel will be dropping two big titles that day in free comic book day. One of them is Secret Wars number zero, and the other one is all new, all different uh, Avengers. So this one I'm really excited for, and also Secret Wars, but uh, this one has caught my attention. Um, so yeah, uh, the first day when they released this image, everybody was blacked out except Miss Marvel and Thor. So... Um, you know, they released this image and uh, they said they were going to release an Avenger a day, but somebody leaked the picture this morning, the full picture, and now here we are. Uh, but from the, you know, from the silhouettes, it was pretty easy to kind of like detect everybody, except I thought this one was the hardest one and it turns out it was Vision. And I had a theory it was Vision. So I will talk about each member separately and let's start off first with uh, Miss Marvel. Uh, so yeah, Miss Marvel, um... Kamala Khan, she's recently been introduced in Marvel, like recently. Uh, she's, her like first ongoing series was last year. So that's crazy how she just made it into the Avengers. That's, you know, um, this shows you how much Marvel really wants to push her. You know, they really want everybody to uh, basically know her now uh, because uh, she is known because of her, you know, title, but uh, they want to push her more into the spotlight since a lot of people actually just pick up Avengers and Justice League. So uh, they want people to get to know Kamala and maybe, you know, get her to become one of those big names. Um, like I said, her her first ongoing just recently came out. Uh, I mean, like it's been a year, I, almost a year or I think a year uh, since it's been you know, starting, so it's big news for Kamala, I'm excited for her, um, I think she's a little too young, but yeah, the the whole roster seems fresh, so I'm, I'm happy, um, you know, they could have been in like some Teen Titans group, but yeah, this one actually sees how much Marvel has faith in them, so Kamala, I'm, I'm happy with, so that was uh, crazy news, and she's also the only, uh, you know, she's one of the two uh, women in the team, which is good, before this, we only had a, you know, somebody known was Black Widow, and that was it. Black Widow and Spider-Woman and Captain Marvel. But that was when, you know, they expanded. And um, this one is, you know, it looks like they're pushing the team. They're getting it to become smaller, which is great because I did not like when the whole, you know, when like there was 400 Avengers. That was crazy. But now I like this whole little, you know, small team. Uh, you know, you can get to know characters better. It's not just whole like 400 Avengers, one mission. So, yeah, I'm excited for this. Next, um, the next, I think the biggest one is uh, Miles Morales. Uh, people just did not see this coming. I mean, I thought it was him from right when I saw him from the silhouette uh, because I think it's 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 time, you know, that he has that he's introduced into the um, six one six universe. Um, Miles, he's great. He's an awesome character in the Ultimate Universe. He's you know not even he hasn't even made it to the Ultimate in that universe, which is crazy. That how he's just gonna be become a bender right when he gets into 616 but uh he wasn't in the ultimates he was in this whole group called the all new ultimates and it was basically the teen titans so i mean like teen ultimates it wasn't like big superheroes um yeah i'm happy to him you know uh peter parker it easily could have been peter but um peter has been in the avengers for a long time uh so it's really fresh to see somebody else 
Next is um, Nova. Nova, I think, has to be the biggest one I did not see coming. Um, you know, if Marvel said, okay, we're going to have a whole new, different, all new, different, all new, all different Avengers, and uh, they didn't even show us a cover, I would have guessed Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, Miles Morales, and um, maybe like Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. But I would have never guessed Nova. But now that I see it, I kind of understand. Uh, Nova has been severely, severely pushed by Marvel. You guys probably didn't see it coming, but I did. He was in Avengers vs. X-Men. He was a big part, actually. He was basically... Uh, he saved people, I think, uh, when they were falling. And then he was in Axis. And he was in um, Original Sin. So he's been in all those big Marvel events. And he's played a very big part. Um... In Avengers vs. X-Men, I think he did save people. I'm not pretty sure. Uh, I'm not sure what he did, but he he was born around that time. Um, after that, we see, you know, it was Original Sin or Infinity or something like that. But oh, in Original Sin, he was best friends with the Watcher and he played a big part because the Watcher died. And there was, an, uh, you know, it was his best friend. And one issue was dedicated just to Nova. Next, uh, it was in Axis, and Axis, he basically kind of caused this whole situation for trying to be a hero. Um, so he's pretty much not the best hero ever because uh, he's still a kid. He does a lot of, you know, things, but um, it's going to be cool to see him there. Uh, honestly, I think he's the youngest one, and I think he is a little too young, but if, you know, Marvel thinks he's ready, then, uh, you know, I'm all up for it because, honestly... Uh, they, like I said, they were trying to push him in like an issue. They even gave him an honorary badge or something. So yeah, he's been really up there with the Avengers. Um, yeah, but I think he is the youngest one out of all of them. Next is Vision. And Vision, in my opinion, was a little different and kind of crazy as well. And this kind of defeats the purpose of Uncanny Avengers, in my opinion. Um, I think they should have differed the, the roster a little bit. Uh, because in Uncanny Avengers, we have Rogue, we have um, Fa uh, Captain America Falcon, we have um, uh, we have Vision, we have Quicksilver Scarlet Witch, we have uh, the Brother Voodoo, um, uh, Sabretooth. So yeah, there's, that's, I think that's a cooler roster, but now this kind of defeats the purpose because we have two characters that are in the same, you know, kind of an Avengers team. Especially Captain America Falcon. He is in uh, Mighty Avengers, Uncanny Avengers, all new different, all new, all different Avengers. It's just crazy. A lot of teams want Falcon. Uh, but yeah, uh, like I said, we're talking about Vision. And Vision, I kind of did not see coming. I would have expected uh, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver over Vision. But I will talk about it after I am done explaining each character. Um, yeah, Vision was, it's a crazy choice, but he's going to be in Avengers 2. So, uh, people are going to be like, oh, that was a cool character. You know, depends what, which part he plays, but I bet they're going to make him cool. So, after they get out of the theaters, people are going to be like, dang, he was awesome. I really need to read more things that involve him. They're going to look into the comic shop and uh, they're going to see the first thing that pops up is going to be him or in free comic book day, which is around the Avengers release. They're going to pick this up, which is free, and they're going to be like Vision and they're going to, you know, love this character. So uh, Vision, he's definitely going to get pushed, I feel, over uh, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. But yeah, that's my thing. Um, that's why I feel like he's here. He's solely because of Avengers 2. Uh, next is the... Trinity, basically Marvel's Trinity. Uh, Falcap, he's not changing after Secret Wars because this is after Secret Wars, guys. This is basically a look into post Secret Wars Marvel Universe. Uh, so the Trinity stays the same, no big changes. I don't think anybody has big changes except I am gonna say Iron Man. Uh, Captain America Falcon, he's still Falcon. Captain America, nothing different. Um, same costume, same everything. Thor, Thor is still Thor. You know, she's the, she's the female Thor. We don't know who. She is yet her secret identity. Nobody knows yet uh, until like one month. But um, yeah, she's there. Cool. Loving it. Next. Bam. Um, Iron Man. Um, yeah. This one is kind of the, the crazy one also. Because honestly, anybody can be under the suit. Anybody could. Um, it could either be like... I'm, I'm saying anybody. So I think the two biggest 
you know, choices right now for being under the suit are, um, in my opinion, Pepper Potts or Tony Stark. Tony Stark, uh, in this current Superior Iron Man story arc that we're having, you know, uh, I feel like he's going to be returned to his place by Pepper Potts and he's going to become Tony again. Or, listen to me, something happens to Tony in this story arc, something major happens to Tony and Pepper Potts takes over his suit. And I'm not talking about, you know, I feel like uh, people are going to not expect this because this seems like a man's suit. But listen to me, guys. It could be anybody underneath it. You know, anybody could. It's not made for men. Like, a woman could fit in there. So, uh, I feel like it would be kind of empowering to give, you know, Pepper Potts this Iron Man suit. Because, you know, you're not going to be like, oh, I'm going to give her Iron Man suit hips. And, like, uh, you know, it looks like he has boobs in the suit as well. You know? That doesn't need it. That suit does not need the boobs. Doesn't need anything. I feel like she could just put on the suit and be like, "Yeah, I'm Iron Man now." So it will be crazy if that was her. And I, that is probably my biggest choice to be Iron Man. Um, I really want Pepper Potts to be Iron Man. She's a well-deserved character. You know, I really want Superior or Tony Stark to be Superior Iron Man. I think it really fits him for at least like two years. Or a year, but yeah, I don't want him to leave that whole persona so quickly, which I think that is the best thing that came out of Axis. But uh, it would be great if um, we had Pepper Potts under the suit and we had three girls or three women and four men, which is, I feel like, a really diverse team, and I'm loving what they're doing. And now I'm gonna talk about another type of diversity, and that is mutants and humans and, and like the whole rest. Um, what I really feel this team is not their burst off is in um you know mutants marvel has really tried you know they've really been not pushing the mutants before uh you know recently and the fantastic four because they're not in their brand and i don't think you know i think it's in my opinion pretty obvious that they're not pushing them um you know before this an abandoned team could have consisted of easily wolverine black widow hulk uh Mr. Fantastic, even, you know, that was the Avenger team. Now, it's different. It's a different landscape. The Fantastic Four are irrelevant. They're, they don't even have a title anymore. Uh, I, I'll talk about, you know, one member of the Fantastic Four in particular next. But, uh, yeah, there is no mutants here. They easily could have put Scarlet Witch, but she's not a mutant anymore, guys. Marvel totally retconned her back history. So that's crazy and kind of a little disappointing. But yeah, there is no mutants here unless there's a mutant underneath uh, Tony Stark's, you know, suit. But yeah, that's a little disappointing. Uh, they could have easily pushed somebody like Jean Grey, the teen Jean Grey. She could have fit if they had, you know, if they're going for young, she easily could have fit there. So a little disappointed that they didn't uh, bring a mutant. But uh, yeah, I'm excited, especially for the creative team. Mark Wade. Mark Wade has been excellent. His running daredevil is ending and it kind of makes sense for him to pick up this run because uh, if his run in daredevil is ending he has to be in an ongoing so it, this makes sense um amuda's war his art is not my favorite um he was in all new x-men he recently left all new x-men as well so this would make sense if he joined this book because you know yeah and uh, the cover art is not done by uh Madmuda's war it's done by jerome Jerome Opeña, and um, yeah, so the art is going to be a little different inside. Laura Martin, I know her, uh, she is currently doing coloring for Star Wars. So yeah, I feel like it's a great creative team, and I'm excited for this. But uh, like I said, it's diverse in cultures, definitely. Diverse in genders, definitely. But is it diverse in, you know, mutants in? They have an inhuman. We know Marvel's trying to push inhumans down our throats. So yeah, inhuman here. Uh, so yeah, but no mutants. A little disappointed. But yeah, uh, I'm nonetheless excited for this title and I will definitely be picking it up. Next, the other Marvel announcement. This one has been a little overshadowed and that is The Uncanny and Humans. Um, after post-Secret post Wars, Marvel will be having... Um, I think Inhumans being replaced by Uncanny and Humans or I'm not sure if both of them are still going to run but um, I'm pretty sure... Inhumans is going to end and Uncanny Humans is going to replace it. But yeah, uh, Uncanny Humans will have a team of six members. Um, you know, and we'll see them there in the cover. Uh, Medusa, obviously the leader. The Queen Medusa. We have Dante or Inferno. We have Naja, Iso, 
I forgot his name. He is uh, part of the kingdom. He serves the queen. And lastly, the craziest member, uh, Johnny Storm or the Human Torch. Yeah, this this is kind of really crazy. Um, I'm not sure what Uncanny Humans is going to revolve around. I When I read Inhumans, I really wished it was, you know, basically a team of Inhumans fighting people, helping, I mean, helping people, uh, fighting for the Inhumans, kind of like the X-Men, having enemies. But so far, it's been really like, oh yeah, I'm the queen and, um, you know, this is my kingdom. I'm trying to rebuild it. So right now we're in the rebuild portion of the whole thing. Uh, Inhumans is probably going to be all about rebuild. Re building the whole thing until you know we get uncanny in humans and uncanny in humans i really feel this is going to be the whole yeah we're a group of uh inhumans and we fight and you know we help people so i think this is the team that are basically going to go and are going to save inhumans help people kind of like the x-men uh the team let's talk about the team medusa obviously i love medusa she's great i'm glad she's here Dante. Dante is uh, also a great character. His whole power is flames and stuff, so it's cool to see him. Naja, she's introduced. I haven't seen that issue where she was introduced. I'm missing that issue, but yeah, she's a cool character. I I think she has a really she's she likes Dante, you know, like like him. She's in love with Dante, so um, it's glad to see her. I saw she's recently been introduced. I think she can stop time or like fast forward or something like that. But that, um, yeah, but she has cool powers. Uh, him, I forgot what he does. He's like uh, underwater or something. I haven't seen him in Inhumans at all. And lastly, Johnny Storm. Uh, a few notable members that are missing. Black Bolt. Uh, Flint, I think that's his name. The guy who can lift rocks. He's uh, missing. And, you know, he's really a character that I feel like he could quit in humans he's really undecided on what he wants to do so i kind of understand that but i think the most important character that i really feel they should have pushed is reader he's not here he's an incredible character i really like him he's one of my favorite in humans that has been re recently been introduced but he's not here uh so that's a little disappointing but yeah but we have Johnny Storm, and this is kind of crazy because if you guys haven't been reading Fantastic Four, Johnny Storm lost his powers. So how does he gain his powers? Does it like happen in the last issue of Fantastic Four, or does he become an inhuman? And it explains it in this issue. So it's crazy. We're, we're going to see what's happening, but yeah. That's crazy. I'm actually excited to see what's going to happen, but I think it kind of defeats the purpose on having, you know, Dante here because flames flames it they kind of basically have the same powers so uh yeah it kind of kind of defeats the purpose but overall i'm excited which one i'm excited out of the two of them i will have to say i'm excited for all new all different benders uh just because i'm i actually like medusa and dante and i could really care less for all like other inhumans but i will see i will be trying definitely both of them out and um yeah we don't have the creative team for this one yet but i'm pretty sure it's gonna be charles soul and steve mcniven so yeah um yeah i'm done guys so that was my thoughts on this comment down your thoughts below on the comics uh for free comic book day for marvel which one are you most excited about what do you think about the new members and definitely definitely uh tell me you know your thoughts on my thoughts so yeah <laughs> Sorry, sorry guys so thanks for watching guys if you like this video also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and have a nice day guys goodbye